I said to him, you know, take, take my purse, but he continued to stab me. She, unfortunately, didn't make it, and I did. Everything else just went blank. It's like you kind of black out for a minute. Nothing else in the world matters other than saving your life. I was a junior in college, and I was gearing up to be the solo captain of my field hockey team. Then a terrible crime changed my life forever. I said to him, you know, take, take my purse, take my phone, and he kind of stopped and then he continued to stab me. When I said, take my things, and he didn't, that's when I knew he was trying to kill me. I actually never felt the knife going into me. I just saw it. I crawled into my apartment and to my roommate's door. that he was in an evil place in his mind. And the only way he could escape the evilness that was taking over him was to take it out on someone. And I share that with Amy, that we were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And she, unfortunately, didn't make it, and I did. My mom actually was the one who brought it to my attention what an impact statement was and that I had a choice to give one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to read it. I'm gonna look at it. And I think the more I thought about it, the more I thought, if I don't do this, I'm gonna regret it. It's, this is so hard. I wanted to really just be in the moment and speak to how I truly felt in that moment and to speak from my heart. And that's, that's what I did. I got two tattoos after this incident happened. Um, one on my forearm, around my stab wound, the biggest stab wound that I have, that says strength and an infinity sign and my Nana's name and a heart. Um, I look at this every morning when I wake up. I can't not look at it. It's here on my arm, it's always gonna be here. And this reminds me when I look at it that I have strength and I'm strong and I'm stronger than my attacker. And I will be stronger than anyone that ever tries to put me down, ever. And everyone out there can do that too. I wanted everyone to also know that I was going to do the best I could to continue on with my life and be a positive person in the best way that I could be. Amy is gonna be with me for the rest of my life. And I made new bonds with the Lord family. We're gonna be bonded forever. And he's gonna be put away forever. And that's all I have. Yeah, so this is a box that Cindy Lord gave to me the, the first time I met her, I believe. And um, it says, no matter what, you'll never be alone. This is something that I keep on my bureau. Um, and yeah, it's a necklace of 
an angel wing that she was wearing when they found her. When I fought back, you know, like she, she was there. She knew what I had to do from what she went through. And I feel as though she was my angel. And it's just very ironic that she was wearing an angel wing and that I got a tattoo of an angel wing months before I knew that it was important in her life. She's there. We're linked together and how everything went down wouldn't have happened if that didn't exist. That's my thought. As I've gone through the healing process over the past five years, I really wanted to do something where I felt like I was giving back. You know, I, I had a lung that was collapsed and I had to learn to like walk again and run. And I've learned that it's actually a strength to be vulnerable. And I was really able to manage that by starting to do motivational speaking. I spoke at my, um, my high school's graduation and students would come up to me and, you know, tell me how much that they appreciated that. And I spoke at a juvenile facility to kids who, you know, needed hope and needed a perspective they're not used to seeing. For me, it's very liberating to talk about. I feel very proud of what I, what I did and how I overcame it. And so I feel an obligation to help other people who may have gone through traumatic events deal with those emotions. Skiing for me is something that's very freeing. It reminds me of how strong I am being a survivor and how much I can let go. And I feel so much gratitude for the wind and the crisp air blowing on my face. And, and I, feel, I feel special, I feel special to be able to have the opportunity to be sitting here speaking out and sharing my story.